let's take R4, expand upon this. Let's let W equal, um, well, not equal, let's say it has a basis. Let W have as a basis vector 1, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0, 0. So let's say that W is the subspace that has these two vectors as a basis. So it's a two-dimensional subspace. And we will let W perp have basis 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, okay, as basis. Now, if I take W, the direct sum, W perp, well, that's equal to R4, right? So a vector in R4, let's say, for example, which is equal, let's say, just some random vector 4, 3, minus 2, 6, which is a vector in R4, it can be written as, well, it can be written as a vector from this subspace plus a vector from this subspace, just like what we defined. That's what the direct sum means. This W plus the W perp means take a vector from here, add it to a vector from here, and you have a vector in the sum, which happens to be R4. But we can write it as 4, 3, 0, 0. This vector right here is in the space W. And we can add it to the vector 0, 0, minus 2, 6, which is a vector in W perp. And what's nice about this representation, this direct sum representation, is that, uh, let's see, this representation is unique. So when I write a particular vector as a direct sum of two individual subspaces, the way that I write it is unique. There's no other way of writing that. Okay. So that gives us a nice basic idea of orthogonal complements to work with, and uh, we'll continue on next time with some more with orthogonal complements. Um, thank you for joining us at educator.com, and we'll see you for the next installment of Linear Algebra. Take care.